What's up everyone? This is Halo Rich Pro 97 and today I'm back with daily Halo 4 news finally after four days. That, that was horrible man. I have to say that I missed you guys. I missed bringing up Halo 4 news uh, you know daily. And also you also stayed with me with you know, Halo Rich Pro 97 which I thought was absolutely amazing. I really like that. There are a few things I like to cover. Uh, in this video and this basically talks about the armor specialization that you get when you purchase Halo 4 and the ones that you unlock you know as you go through the game the thing is that in Halo 4 you get a total of eight uh, armor specializations or otherwise known as perks at the beginning of the game you get two armor specializations I don't know which one uh, could these be but we have to wait and find out the first armor specialization I'll be talking about today is on Wetworks. Now Wetworks uh, is like a stealth perk. So for those people who like snipers, this will be great for you because it won't make as much noise as you do when you sprint. I, I also think it might uh, make it difficult for the enemies to see you on their radars. The next armor specialization I like to talk about is on the Pioneer specialization. This is for the people who want to rank up really fast, you know. Sometimes in Halo, it's a bit of a pain to rank up all the way to a maximum level, you know. It takes a lot of time and patience to actually get there. So this is the sort of uh, perk for you guys. I'm not sure how, if this is going to be really balanced. I mean, you can have some people who rank up, you know, like really slowly. And then you have this one guy with this... Uh, ranking up specialization and it ranks up like twice as fast as you do you know it's pretty much annoying the next uh, specialization I'll talk about is on the engineer specialization too so basically what this does is when there's you know an incoming you know drop or something like that you know for for weapons it tells you like w seconds before others get uh, the notification this is the sort of perk I would want because, you know, I was like my sniper rifle. If I see there's a sniper rifle like in uh, in another pod or somewhere, I would want to be the first one to actually get there and take it. The next uh, specialization I'd like to talk about is on uh, the tracker. Now, basically, this works the same way as uh, the engineer, but you get the chance to re-roll your ordnance drops choices. I don't know what that means, but I'll be really interested to see what that actually means. The next specialization I like to talk about is on Rug. I really like this one. I think it's my favorite so far. So basically what this does is it's perfect for those who like to shoot, you know, from a long range with a DMR because sometimes when you shoot with a DMR from long range, it's kind of difficult to actually hit that person. But with the sniper, yeah, you can sort of do that. So basically, it gives you a stereo aim, you know, when you're zoomed in. Well, I think that's cool. <laughs> but the next um, slider I have to talk about, I'm not so sure what this actually uh, does, but this is called the Stalker uh, Specialization. I'm guessing it's something for uh, active combo users, you know, for letting it last longer or something like that. I mean, I have to wait and find out. On more information on what this actually means. The Pathfinder is a good specialization because when you're holding a turret you get to move faster than the others which is uh, you know a pain in other Halo games when you're carrying a, a turret because you know you move really slowly apart from ODST which was amazing because you could move at the same speed as without carrying a turret. Finally the last specialization is uh, called Operator so basically what this does is uh, it reduces the amount of you know impact an EMP blast has on your vehicle and it also recharges the health of the vehicle a little faster than you know the usual which I think is really cool <laughs> so that was it for today guys uh, that was Halo 4 news and uh, I hope you enjoyed this because after four days of nothing you actually got some uh, Halo 4 news there which is pretty amazing I never thought I could manage it I also almost gave up on this but I managed to pull my uh, head back and do this so thank you for watching my latest video don't forget to subscribe for more Halo 4 updates in the future until then mape.